Hey, here are five amazing things I've noticed about the Apollo moon landings. Number one, they happened less than 50 years after Goddard's rocket. In March of 1926, Robert Goddard launched a small rocket. It was propelled by liquid oxygen and gasoline. It flew for two and a half seconds, and it reached a maximum altitude of only about 41 feet. But it was the first successful launch of a liquid-fueled rocket in human history. 42 years later, humans rode liquid-fueled rockets to the moon and back. And one year after that, they landed on the moon and returned to Earth. 42 years. That's all it took to get from Goddard's first rocket to the moon. It's almost unbelievable when I think about it. But it happened. The Apollo moon landings happened. And the impact they had on the world was immeasurable. Number two, they inspired multiple generations of scientists and innovators. 55 years ago, John Kennedy announced his goal of landing humans on the moon. The pursuit of that goal engaged the labor and ingenuity of hundreds of thousands of people from all over the country. Scientists, engineers, builders, technicians, pilots, and more. Their efforts put people on the moon. And that, in turn, inspired the children of their generation to grow up and invent our modern world. Number three, they led to revolutionary technological advances. The Apollo project happened because people built machines to do things that had never been done before, created smaller, more powerful computers, designed vehicles capable of transporting people to another world and back. The decades that followed saw the introduction of miniaturized consumer electronics, electronic digital watches, pocket calculators, personal computers and video game consoles, and eventually the internet, GPS navigation, smartphones, technologies that most of us now take for granted, but all of which can be traced back to the technical advances and anything is possible ethos that allowed people in the 1960s to travel from the earth to the moon. Number four, they gave us a new perspective on our world. In the late 1960s and early 70s, millions of people all over the world watched as images of human beings walking on the moon flickered on their televisions. But just as important were the images of Earth those astronauts brought back with them. Photographs such as Earthrise taken during Apollo 8 or Blue Marble taken during Apollo 17, allowed us to see the Earth as a single location for the first time. Apollo astronauts looking at the Earth from the moon could see no political boundaries, no exclusively owned lands or natural resources. All they saw was a blue ball, adrift in an endless sea of star-sprinkled black, alone but for the moon. Historian Robert Poole credits those Apollo photographs, particularly Earthrise, with inspiring the modern environmental movement. And the flag most commonly associated with Earth Day is simply the blue marble photograph against a field of dark blue. Number five, they gave humanity something peaceful to celebrate. The space program didn't exist in a political vacuum. Those were American flags that were planted on the moon, after all. And were it not for the Cold War between the U.S. and the Soviet Union, the moon landings may never have happened at all. Even so, I can't help but view them as unique accomplishments, not just for the unprecedented distances traveled or the almost unfathomable risks involved, but because they gave people, including but not exclusively Americans, something to be proud of that didn't involve military conquest or bloody revolution or the suppression of perceived enemies. And it's a shame that that lesson didn't take hold with more people because it might be the most important lesson that we can all still learn from the moon landings. It's hard to hold each other down when we're reaching up. The hardest part is picking only five. Catch you next time.
Hey folks, it's about time I did one of these that was unambiguously positive towards its subject, don't you think? I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please like it and share it and subscribe to this channel if you're not subbed already. And also, please consider helping me to make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash steveshives to become a patron. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.